Hey guys, it's the girl Carmise. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so I am currently here at Bagel Boys. I accepted an order going for $7, 1.5 miles. My customer wants four items, homemade muffin, bagels with flavored cream cheese, bagels with flavored cream cheese, egg sandwich with bacon. And yeah, you guys, I am here. I think the time is right now, so I'm about to head inside. And yeah. You guys already know don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you find every single time your girl up for her videos DoorDash for Aaron. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, you guys, my order was already ready. Already ready. Buy the pickle time. Oh, double. Have my customer's food right here. Let's put into the DoorDash bag. Alright, you guys, this is a contactless delivery, and my customer is four minutes away, so that is really, really good. Alright, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. I'm about to place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. This is a contactless delivery. And yeah. So close to the door. We're good to go. I'm going to ring the bell. All right, you guys, I took a picture and I'm going to ring the bell. And we are done. All right, you guys, so I decided to accept an order at this place that I've never been to before. The place is called Blue Mango, it's like a smoothie bar. But I accepted the order going for nine dollars, 3.2 miles. My customer only wants two items I'm enjoy and blueberry whirl. So I'm here, my pickup time is in seven minutes, but I'm just gonna go in there anyways to see if I can get it, you know, faster or whatever. And yeah, it's only two drinks so. Two smoothies. Hello. I have a DoorDash order for Mike. Yeah. Alright you guys, so they actually have like a uh, frozen yogurt, not frozen yogurt, it's like a uh, acai uh, bowl, is that what it's called? They have like an acai bowl type thing, um, with like bananas and all that, and they also have um, their smoothie, and they gave me a cup holder for it, but honestly, I'm just gonna keep this, you know, just in case I need it, for when I have two drinks. But anyways, you guys, this is a contactless delivery and my customer is four minutes away. Good. All right, you guys, I am pulling up to my customer's house, parking on the side or whatever. All right, this is a contactless delivery, so I'm going to place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. I'm dead. The customer is coming out, y'all. 
Hello. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, he came out to me even though it was supposed to be a contact with delivery, but he was super duper nice or whatever. I'm about to put that as a handed order directly to customer. Okay, I'm going to click that instead since I didn't take a picture. And yeah, you guys, so that order is complete. Once I get my next order, you already know who. I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I just pulled up to McDonald's. I accepted an order going for $7, 2.8 miles. My customer literally only wants one item, a Sprite. Like, what? Who does orders a freaking drink from door? Who door dashed themselves just a drink? Like, but okay, I guess they crave enough Sprite. So, I'm about to head inside you guys. My pickup time is in two minutes. So, should be done. Should be ready. Just a Sprite. Easy peasy. Lemon Sweezy. Four six seven. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. I have my customer's large sprite right here. I'm about to head over to my customer. This is a contactless delivery, bro. He closed my jacket in the door. All right, so this is a contactless delivery, and my customer is five minutes away. So that's good. See you guys once I get there. All right, you guys, I'm pulling up to my customer's house. Okay. This is a contactless delivery, so I'm just going to place it on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. And yeah. Dead. It looks like they got McDonald's, y'all. I guess they wanted an extra drink. Just look. <laughs> I'm dead. I guess they just needed an extra drink, so they did a DoorDash order. Another DoorDash order for McDonald's, so they did it twice. Okay. All right, you guys, I just pulled up to Moe's. I accepted an order going for $10.50 at 4.8 miles. My customer won six items, mini masterpiece, salad, nachos, guacamole, most famous queso, home record bowl, and yeah, you guys, my pickle time is in five minutes. So I don't know if it's ready or not, but let's find out. This big bag is theirs, y'all. All right, it's a little heavy. All right, you guys, I have my customer's big bag right here. This is definitely not fitting into the DoorDash bag, so that's gonna be sitting right here. Ooh, they got a lot of food. I didn't even realize how much food they got. That's a lot of stuff. But anyways, you guys, I'm about to confirm my pickup. I am three minutes before my pickup time, which is really good. This is a contactless delivery, and they said leave outside front door. So I'm going to do just that. Take a picture, ring the bell, 
you already know what the deal is and yeah seven minutes away i'll be there about 12 minutes early so that's good all right you guys i just made it i had to drive down this really long driveway to get to the customer's house okay driving all the way down Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. Mm -hmm. you guys i'm about to take a picture and then ring the bell all right the dogs are barking i'm out y'all once i get my next order i'll be right back all right you guys i just made it back to moe's i accepted an order going for nine dollars and fifty cents at 5.2 miles my customer wants four items bottle coke 20 ounce bottle coke 20 ounce quesadilla and a stack i know last time that i came here they did not have any soda bottles all it had was fountain drinks so i'm gonna see what's up when i go in there my pickle time is in four minutes My order ain't here, y'all. Picking up for John L. I looked in the fridge and all I see was diet. All I saw was diet soda. You know what I'm saying? All I fucking saw was diet soda, so I guess that's why they don't have any bottle cokes, which is annoying. That's not what my customer asked for, you know what I'm saying? Alright, you guys, I just finished ordering. I ordered two minutes before my pickle time. This is a contactless delivery, and they are 12 minutes away. <laughs> yeah. Alright you guys, I'm about to take a picture and then ring the bell. I just pulled up to McDonald's. I accepted an order going for $6, 2.5 miles. My customer wants two items, crispy buttermilk chicken meal and 10 piece McNuggets meal. I'm about to head inside you guys. My pickup time is in three minutes. So my order should be done or almost done. Nine three, DoorDash. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. My order was ready by the pickup time. They definitely, they definitely do need some better tape. All right, you guys. Have the food right here. Take this snack. All right, so the order is ready. One minute before the pickup time, or oh, however long it's been sitting out there. But I just came here. Anyways, you guys, I'm about to head over to my customer. This is a hand to customer delivery, and they are four minutes away. There's a little bit of traffic, so they would have been closer than four minutes. So instead of holding onto the handles, I'm holding onto the actual bag so it don't rip.
Oh shit. Alright, that's a ring the bell. Yeah. Save the time. Have a good day. You got it? Yeah. Yo. Oh, Alright, you guys. I'm weak as hell. Shawty dead. Like, she dead. Like, poked her head out the window. <laughs> and I was, she's like, uh, DoorDash. And I'm like, yeah. And then I handed her order through her freaking window. Like, how funny is that? She's like, oh, just gonna save you the time. So I just handed it through her, through the window. Anyways, you guys, once I get my next order, you already know, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I just made it to Chili's. I accepted an order going for $8.50 at 2.3 miles. My customer wants six items, skillet, chocolate chip cookie, ankle salmon, side house salad cajun chicken pasta bone and wings and southwestern egg rolls they do want like six food items so i don't know how fast they're gonna be done with the order you guys my pickle time is in five minutes Let's see a whole bunch of orders up there y'all All right, you guys, here go my customer's food. Already ready. All right, you guys, I just got the food. It's right next to me. It's in this big bag right here. But anyways, you guys, I am heading over to my customer that said, please knock at the door, then leave order on top step, so. They do not want me to ring the bell, they want me to knock on their door. And yeah, I'll be doing just that. My customer is six minutes away, you guys. I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. I'm about to leave the items on the steps, take a picture, and then knock on the door instead of ringing the bell. I'm just about to park on the side real quick. Alright y'all, I'm about to take a picture and then knock on the door. Alright you guys, I just made it to Fortune Garden. I came here like one time for DoorDash, so this is like my second time here or whatever. I accepted the order going for $8.50 at 4.3 miles. My customer wants seven items, roast pork lo mein, fortune garden sesame chicken, roast pork wonton soup, egg drop soup, cheese wonton, 10 of them, and hanjay, hanjay spring roll shrimp. I'm about to head inside you guys. My pickle time was one minute ago, so hopefully the food is ready. They do have a lot of food, you know what I'm saying? So let's see. Barbara. Thank you. All right, you guys, that is fantastic. My order was already ready by the pickup time, which is good. All right, y'all, putting the foot into the DoorDash bag. Order was already ready by the pickup time, which is good. I'm about to head over to my customer. This is a contactless delivery and they are 11 minutes away. All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. Lots of place the items on the steps. Take a picture, ring the bell.
All right, you guys, I'm here at a restaurant that I said I would never, ever, ever go back to. And I was just like, you know what? If I keep declining restaurants that are on my blacklist, then I feel like I'm losing money in a way. You know what I'm saying? I'm like low-key just losing money. I saw an order for Chipotle going for $8, 1.5 miles. I was just like, should I really take this? I know how they are. I know how late they can be with the orders. I've been in there for 15 minutes after the pickle time and I'm just like, I can't do it anymore with Chipotle. I just can't. And it's still like this weeks later. Even when I just go there to get Chipotle for myself, it's so busy. So I just didn't know if I should accept it or not, but I did anyways. My customer wants two items, two burrito bowls. So yeah. My pickle time is in one minute, but I'm about to go inside y'all and look at the pickup show to see if there's an order for Joe. Joe S. So I gotta look for that. Hopefully there ain't a lot of people in there. I'm nervous. <laughs> We are looking for Joe S. Right here. I'm very fucking surprised. I am very surprised, you guys, that my order is done right now. Are you kidding me? Okay, Chipotle, I see you. Yo. <laughs> I was not expecting my order to be ready, y'all. Like, that's crazy. I was just like, yeah, let me just go check real quick to see if it's there. I'll just come back to my car if it's not. But it actually was there. So that is really good, you guys. Makes me consider if I should go back to Chipotle or not. So it's up orders from there. Because if I didn't set this order, I just would have been losing out money. I could have still been like, you know, waiting around for an order. But anyways, you guys, I'm heading over to my customer's house. This is a contactless delivery, and they are five minutes away. All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. I am parked on the side. I'm about to walk through this pathway right there and hand my order to my customer. This is a hand it to customer delivery. Thanks a lot. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Thank yeah. you. Alright you guys. I did it again. I sent an order from a restaurant that is on my blacklist which is I Grill because I told you guys numerous times every time I went there the order was never ready by the pickup time and yeah. But um, I accepted an order going for $8.50 at 3.4 miles. My customer wants four items, steak, white rice, dark meat chicken, and I grill burger. I am here, my pickle time is in one minute, so I'm about to go inside, make my presence known, or whatever, and yeah. All right, you guys, so the order was still ready after the pickup time, which is, you know, epic annoying, but at least it's not ready, you know, like 10 minutes after the pickup time and it's still good enough, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, you guys, I have my customer's food freshly done with. Let's see if this is a contact or contactless delivery. All right, you guys, I have my customer's food right here. It was ready three minutes after the pickup time which isn't too bad. Like, they have a little progress, I guess, because the other times I came here, child, uh-uh. But anyways, you guys, I'm heading over to my customer. This is a contactless delivery, and they are 10 minutes away. I don't see the house number, you guys. I'm just going to call them. 
I see every fucking number but the number that I'm looking for. So I feel like I'm right in front of the house. But I'm just gonna ask them if it's the red house. Hello. Hi. Um, are you in the red house? Like the. Yes. Oh. A, a red house with a tree in front. Okay, I'm gonna put the items on the steps. Okay, because it's, it's divided into two places, but we're the one with the tree in front. Oh, okay. But the white car, right? Right. Alright. Alright, you guys, she said that the house was divided into two. So I'm at the right house. I'm just going to place items on the steps and then leave. I did a total of 10 deliveries and I made $95. <laughs> but yeah, today was, you know, pretty productive. And I did get a lot of trash orders. But why did my customer ratings go down? That's funny. It was at 4.9. It was 4.94. And now it's at 4.91. But whatever. Maybe the people who got maybe the most order when they asked for a bottle of soda. But they got, you know, the fountain drinks instead. But anyways, you guys, I am done working for today. Yeah, but if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications notified every single time your girl put her videos. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.